I am so excited to show you my kitchen and how I decluttered and organized it so that I could accomplish my goal. My goal was to have clear countertops. I love clear countertops because it makes the whole kitchen feel cleaner, the whole house feel cleaner. The clear surfaces help me feel like I can cook whatever I want or take on any project that I want and it helps me feel like I have control of my kitchen. So just a note, please don't feel like you have to do exactly what I do. The purpose of this video is to inspire you and help you feel empowered to meet your own housekeeping goals. For cups, I only keep the cups that will fit on this shelf. And there are some mugs up in there hiding in the back. And as you can see, my toaster is up there because my goal is to have all the appliances off of my countertop and that's the best place that I can find for my toaster. I have one pile of big plates and a pile of small plates. And there's also a pile of glass bowls in the back there that I just use only rarely. So the cups... I recently went through all of my cups and now I only own cups that I love. So the cups that I have are dishwasher safe and they don't have any weird ridges in them that make it difficult to clean. Even you can see a little ridge down there. Actually this ridge yes would make it easy harder to clean but some cups have those little ridges inside and it makes it really hard to clean especially with like smoothies or or something that is hard to scrub out the bottom so this one has this one is completely smooth inside so I like those kind of cups so I keep those cups so this these cups can stack these little cups from Ikea are fantastic they stack and they're just perfect for the kids. So those are all the cups I have and I actually had to come back and declutter my cups because it was starting to not fit in the cupboard and it drives me nuts when I have to put something away and there's not enough room for it. So I got rid of several cups, ones that don't stack or ones that are hard to clean so that I can easily put away cups when it's time to put them away. I had something like 50 cups and I was able to get rid of 20 so now I have about 30 cups left and they're just perfect. We eat cereal very often so my cereal does warrant cupboard space and as you saw there wasn't any room for plastic bowls in my plate cupboard so I decided to put my plastic bowls here with the cereal and I have young kids so I also have a pile of small bowls you may have noticed that not all the kids bowls are the same but they still do stack in one stack uh, I had a bunch of different bowls at one time and I did have to go back and declutter them because it was getting hard to stack them and I don't have room for a second stack of kids bowls so I decluttered until I was able to get all of the kids bowls able to stack in only one stack. I used to have a shelf of recipe books and then one day while I was aggressively decluttering I realized that I did not need all of these recipe books. I really use online recipes most of the time so I got rid of the recipe books that I never looked at and I was pleasantly surprised that I was able to find a new home for the rice cooker and this was a milestone of getting that rice cooker off of my countertops. It's easy to collect a lot of pans and end up having to store a lot that you don't use. A couple of years ago, we aggressively decluttered our pans and we ended up with just these ones. And I am so thrilled about my clutter-free pan cupboard 
because for as long as I can remember, I've hated the pan cupboard. To illustrate why I hate it, I will tell you what happened. One day when I was young, I was unloading the dishwasher and I came across a pan. I could not just put the pan in the cupboard. I had to pull out a whole bunch of pans and restack all the pans and play Tetris just to get that pan back in. And when I was finally done putting away that one pan, then I went back to the dishwasher to finish and I discovered another pan. I was so frustrated that I had missed it because I had to go back and do it again. So having a decluttered pan cupboard is very important to me. These are the pans that we use all the time and since we do not have many pans we are able to keep our flour down here which is a milestone because this flour and sugar and oatmeal were living on the countertop. And oh it's just so exciting to meet this milestone. Appliances go here. I have my red food processor, my white mixer, and there's a juicer hidden back there. And then on the top Lazy Susan's shelf are the lids for all of the pots. A few more appliances go down here. The crock pot, the bread maker, and this grill. I was able to get rid of my George Foreman and my griddle um, once I had saved up enough money to buy this grill saving space overall. Spices and sugar and medicine go in here and the only tip I have for you here is to make sure you are not buying repeat spices. If you have three things of cinnamon then give two of them away and just keep one because you can use that space. Uh, cookie cutters, you don't need 500 million cookie cutters. Keep maybe 10 and if you don't use them very much then put them in the back and the things that you do use a lot like the salt and the pepper then put them in the front so that you can access them easily and I really like these round these round kind of plates that turn little lazy Susans. I recommend those for these kinds of cupboards where you have lots of little things all of my rags go in here, and yes, I do use all of these, otherwise I would be getting rid of them. Uh, someday I would like to buy all pretty ones that I love, but uh, for now I have a whole bunch of different kinds and I use them all up every week. And I only have two hot pads. I don't need to have a million hot pads, so two is just fine and I keep them right here so I can find them whenever I need them. A lot of people have really messy areas under their sink and I find that usually most of that stuff is stuff that you don't use very much. The dishwasher soap, yes, you need that. The dish soap, yes, you need that. But hundreds and hundreds of plastic bags, no, you don't need that many. What I would recommend with the plastic bags to use for trash liners, I would say, okay, we can fill up this trash can full of plastic bags. And after this trash can is full of plastic bags, then we may not keep any more. And if that makes you uncomfortable, then go ahead and fill up one plastic bag full of other plastic bags and keep it in the back of your sink. I never resorted to that backup plastic bag. I decided that I don't like the look of the plastic grocery bags. So I found some clear trash bags that are about the same size and I use these instead. What I like about these is apart from looking better than the plastic bags is they roll up and so they're really tiny, so they're not taking up a lot of room under my sink. So they just roll up and I pull off one as I need it, and it seems like that little roll lasts for forever, and I just have so much more breathing room under my sink. Here I keep most of my cooking prep dishes, and I do have a few tips regarding these items. 
For mixing bowls, I have one stack of plastic and one stack of glass mixing bowls. If you have more than two stacks of bowls, I would ask yourself if you really need that many. I've been going for several years on just these two stacks and I've never had a problem. Sometimes my favorite bowl is dirty, so instead of washing that one, I'll have to resort to my second favorite bowl, but I have never run out of mixing bowls. I have a handful of square pans and I have three 9 by 13 pans. And my favorite little tip to give to you about these is to store them with stacking with their lids in between each other so you don't have glass on glass. As for these little round dishes, I use these for storing leftovers as well as serving meals with lots of side dishes or large meals like Thanksgiving. And so I don't have any ugly plastic containers to put food in. I use these pretty ones. This area is my little grab and go area where I use these things all the time like the measuring cups. And now over here for my measuring cups, I didn't think I could live with just one set of measuring cups. So I tried an experiment using just two sets of measuring cups. And I put these pretty metal ones up here and I never used the plastic ones that I kept over on the shelf. And so I was able to get rid of all but one set of measuring cups. And actually, yes, there is one one cup measuring cup sitting on the shelf uh, that I do use sometimes. And I did this experiment with the measuring spoons as well. I was surprised to find out that I could get along just fine using just one set of measuring spoons. So that's what you see on the door. I think it's clear that I am not a minimalist, but I do like to declutter especially when it helps me attain my housekeeping goals, such as keeping my countertops cleared. So those are my tips for today. Little by little, I was able to declutter and pare down the number of items that I had so that I could eventually fit all my appliances in my cupboards so that now I have a clear countertop and I love it. And if that is your goal, then I wish you luck. Good luck in clearing off your countertops.